these boards are for a new battery box that I have to build before winter. And also I'm going to build a cabinet in the utility space in which the plumbing, uh, the boiler and perhaps a battery is going to be. It needs to be a frost free space. So I thought it was easier to just build a cabinet and insulate that instead of insulating the whole utility space. So that's why I kept the roof quite simple. Um, yeah.
the old way building walls. Go surprisingly fast. Just soil, make it wet and that compacts as a mortar which it works really well. It's the first time I'm doing it. I wonder if they did the walls like that as well. Or they made a more clay-like mixture. But I could imagine they do it exactly the same as that. Just take all the small stones out and um, just throw it in the wall because in the middle of these walls there's a lot of soil smaller rocks and a lot of soil and it surprisingly stays together for a very long time Driving the car down needs to go to the garage because the clutch is really uh, at its end. And I'll walk back, which probably takes about three hours, maybe three and a half from where I have to bring the car. But uh, yeah, it's a nice walk. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
<laughs> that took me about yeah, more than three hours. I actually got offered a ride from someone local, but I declined because I wanted to walk this road. Because uh, some of the helpers that come here, they walk from town as well. Most of them come by car, but some walk and uh, I could pick them up. That would be nice of me, but I think it's better to walk because it gives you an experience. You know, most people come from the city, have a job or in school still. And, uh, you know, on my bike journey, these kind of climbs and long times on a bicycle or walking always does you good. My happy moment was finding those raspberries being thirsty and hungry, I didn't bring any snacks. So, other moments could be seeing a bird or an animal, hearing a weird sound. Just the views. Maybe it clears your mind, you get some inspiration. And yes, you get tired too, maybe you have some muscle pain, but that clears in a few days. So, it's always good things. And I never walk this road. I, I walked up the other side and I cycled up two times before I bought the place, so... But it's always very different from a, a car trip. It was nice.
going to start cleaning up the wall. I did a little trial on Sunday, it's right here, so you can see how the mortars come out. Could do a little bit more even. Uh, you can also see that the original color is coming through a bit more because this is also dusty. So you got more blue tones and uh, yeah. Probably take the smaller stones out so there's actually space for um, pointing. Um, yeah, messy job. But uh, I'm starting it now. Definitely a summer job. Very wet and dirty. <sighs> I think I need a shower.
So, car is fixed. They replaced the clutch and the whole kit. Um, it was completely done. So, now it gears well again. And um, masonry stove has arrived. This is half of it because it's very heavy. In total, 1600 kilograms. So, that's over 3000 pounds. And mostly heat resistant concrete pieces. It's basically a self built. So it's like a jigsaw all fitting together. Um, I'll show some drawings and explain a little bit what, what a masonry stove actually is. But I'm um, glad it finally arrived. So this stove is from Tempcast. Um, they're a small company from uh, Minnesota, United States, and they they make these um, masonry heaters. They build the core, and it's made of heat-resistant concrete, and it's just building blocks there, which are numbers. You have to put it together yourself because the stove of this size doesn't fit through the door. You have to do it yourself, or, or you can let them do it if you're local um, the reason why I wanted this stove is because uh, it has an oven and I like that a lot but it fits perfectly with this idea I wanted to have a stove into a stairs the dimensions are just perfect for the floor height that I have and yeah it just just fits perfectly Yeah, very detailed explanation, which is great. Another thing I like about this stove is that it, I can really make it part of the building. So I can clad it in the same way as the stones that I'm using for uh, the walls. Um, but you can also clad it with bricks or you can plaster it and then you can paint it in the same color as, as the walls. So you can go all kinds of ways with it, which, which is nice.
So these are the most common uh, types of wood stoves or fireplaces. Uh, an open fireplace, you don't see that very much anymore because it's not efficient at all. Most of the heat is actually going through the chimney and out of the house. An iron stove, cast iron or steel, is much more common because it heats up quite quickly and it heats the house quite efficiently. A lot of heat is also in the chimney, so that's why you often see chimney pipes going through several rooms. Um, but once the fire dies off, it cools off fairly quickly. And that's the difference with a masonry stove. The more mass you have and the longer the flue is, um, the more efficient it becomes. So from the firebox, you, make, you build a very hot fire in here. It goes through the oven. Then it splits here, it goes down, and it goes down here before it goes, comes together in the chimney and goes out of the house. Once the flue is here, it's already pretty much cooled off because all of that heat is given off to the masonry part. That slowly radiates the heat into the home. Pretty similar as the underfloor heating that heats a floor slab like a concrete slab and slowly it radiates uh, into the house. So the advantage of that is that you don't have to keep a fire on all day, which you have to do with these stoves, you know. You just fire it up once a day, you let it go out, and then it will still be hot for the remainder of the day. But it's much less work, and it also costs much less wood than these type of stoves. It's the last part of the stove. The new clutch is nicely worn in. It's a pretty heavy load. Got another uh, pressure washer as well because I broke the other one. They're not really built for this heavy use because I use them on the highest power uh, 
position and uh, yeah, they break. Oh, I need a holiday. I've been going on for so many weeks now. I need to reset things. I mainly need to clean up things because that second cabin is where all my stuff is. I never film there because it's a chaos. And I'm at a point that I have no idea where things are because everywhere, <laughs> everything is everywhere. So um, I need to organize. It's August, so it's not really a good time for holiday. It's really hot in the valley. So it's actually really nice to be up here. Maybe to take a few days off. Off camera.